Hey everybody. Well, today's video is going to be a little bit different. As the Desert Sky Adventures community learned this morning about the passing of one of our own. Uh, one of our very first executive producers, uh, known around Tombstone, uh, or on, on YouTube, I should say, as Tombstone Kira. Um, her real name was Kirby White, and she was a local here in Tombstone. One of our very first executive producers. Um, passed away this morning. Um, it was kind of unexpectedly. It's really a sad thing. But uh, she was a big fan of the channel and the work I did on the channel. Uh, she was also a member of the Tombstone Marketing Committee, uh, as am I. So I would see her in the meetings uh, frequently, you know, and uh, she would just tell me about how much she liked my most recent video and um, you know, like I said, one of the very first executive producers for the channel. So she was the uh, one of the managers of the Boot Hill Cemetery. And there was a place that she really enjoyed working a lot. A um, place that she felt very connected to. And uh, I'm going to play you an interview I did with her uh, several months back now. Um, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her background and... Uh, why she feels so connected to Boot Hill and why it was a place that she loved working so much. So uh, with that, I want to say I salute you, Kirby, uh, and I know we will all see you again someday down the road. This is like my dream job. When I was a little girl, my dad would pick me up on weekends. He'd be like, where do you want to go? I said, cemetery. So he always took me to cemeteries. That was all I ever wanted to do when I was little. And uh, yeah, and I tried to be a mortician. I couldn't get the anatomy. So, you know, gift shop, <laughs> graveyard. <laughs> I've always seen spirits, you know, ghosts, whatever. Um, you know, so it just seemed natural. I always felt at peace in cemeteries and that's why I wanted to go. It was like, you know, it's just nice, peaceful. People like us, unless you've had experiences, people don't, that haven't had experiences, don't understand. And it's completely natural that they should think it's all, you know, bullcrap. But uh, those of us who have had experiences and have felt um, really visceral things, seen things that other people don't see, um, it's, you know, it doesn't matter if they believe or not. You know, maybe they'll have an experience and believe someday. Maybe they won't, but it doesn't matter. You know, it's, uh, everybody's got to live their own life the way they want to live it. It's really active. Um, the spirits here are, uh, if they're not happy with something, they might throw something off the wall in the gift shop. Um, you know, they'll yell at Tony over at the ticket office, um, the things of this nature. Um, and I think it's because they're remembered here. You know, it's not like a regular cemetery where people just come to visit a family member once a year or whatever. It's, um, people come here every single day, 365 days out of the year, to visit these graves and to remember these people in their lives. And, uh, so, I think they wake up, you know? I think the spirits just sort of wake up and they like the attention, they're happy to be remembered, and it gives them some sort of a life. I think it's mainly watching out for the graves and the spirits that might be attached to them, and uh, keeping it safe and respectful and clean and uh, just, you know, maintaining the basic upkeep so that um, whoever is here feels at home. They feel like they're not, um, you know, they're not forgotten. 